Hello. I thought I would uh, show you my new bike. As a few people have seen me upload some photos on Instagram, and obviously I put up a post on my community tab uh, talking about my new bike, so I thought I'd show you it. So we'll start off with uh, this, which um, Emily's dad, James, helped me put up. This is the Ride Hide, I got it on Amazon. It's rained a few times and it's really waterproof material. It's got little uh, vent holes on the side to let uh, you know air in so that it doesn't sweat too much. Um, I've got it on a bit of wood that we've wrapped in a tarpaulin um, to make it hopefully waterproof for a little while before it, it needs to be replaced. And then it's affixed, it's screwed in to that so yeah it's a pretty decent thing it was about 100 pounds i'm fairly happy with it it's been super windy and we've had a bit of rain and the sun obviously as well and uh, i think it does a pretty good job of of hiding my bike away from the sun and all the rest of it so hopefully it won't make the panels uh you know fade in the sun or whatever or get all the chrome um rusty but yeah you can see it fits underneath fairly well um it's a little bit better when it's when the, the bars are centered and then this, this top bar just goes straight over with absolutely no problem at all. But then here is the actual bike. So this is a Honda Cub 90, which is a, it's a pretty famous bike. It's the most sold or the best selling automobile in the world in the history. It sold over a hundred million units. I think they were really popular in Asia and they're obviously quite cheap to build. There's not a lot of fancy stuff going on. It's a, quite a basic little thing, but yeah, I really like it. I picked it up for 975 pounds, which if anybody knows how much these go for regularly, that's about half of the going rate. Um, I've had to do a few bits, a few panels I've had to replace. Uh, this one's fairly scratched up but the old one that was on it before, I'll show you a photo, was really faded. I've done the same on the mudguard. I've replaced the, uh, the front mudguard, polished up the wheel as well. So that's looking pretty nice. Put a new tire on the front. Most of it I've done myself. The, the tire I didn't do myself. I've cleaned all of this. There was a bunch of scratches in the center, sanded it down with some wet and dry and a bit of polish. Ordered some new covers um, to cover up these are called passport covers so you can get quick access to things underneath um polished up all of the the pipe and everything this is some new foot rubber pegs because they probably if the bike gets dropped or bashed up against something it'll rip here so ordered some new ones of those and these are nice and new this is a whole new uh foot it's an original foot um peg piece because before it was bent up on both sides so which meant it was harder for me to press the brake uh, I need to get some new covers for here because you might be able to see they're a little bit faded and someone's had a sticker on it and then it's faded and now you can see the original colour underneath is far darker. So uh, I would like to get new ones of those with a nice new chrome bolt there. Um, but again, they're not too expensive. Put this little rubber trim on here to stop the plastic from scratching the paint on the frame. And what else have I done? I've got a new battery so that the electric start worked. Uh, it didn't previously work when I got it. So now all the electrics work absolutely beautifully. Uh, put a couple washers on here, thanks to James, because there was a little hook here for like bags and shopping, but it was chrome and it was really rusted. So now I've just got that there. I need to polish away uh, the dirt and stuff from that. Um, I've ordered a new piece to go here because this is really, really rusty. I've ordered one with a handle on the side. So when I put it on the center stand, I've got something to hold on to because at the moment I'm running the risk of getting tetanus on this thing and I'd snap that if I lifted on that. So I'm sort of having to lift up on that and there's not a lot holding the seat. So when you uh, go to put it on the centre stand, it feels a bit flimsy lifting up the seat. So yeah, need to order a new cover for the petrol indicator register thing. It's really windy. Hopefully that's not picking up too bad because that's a bit ripped. Maybe get a new uh, petrol fuel tank cap maybe a whole new petrol tank. I know that sounds a little bit ambitious and a bit expensive, but they're literally like 30 pounds for an official brand new one. And this is the really, the rustiest part of the whole bike. So that is that. The seat's got no rips on it at all, which is really good, obviously. I've got a new uh, gear lever here. I need to just adjust it slightly. It's a bit high up. Uh, it's quite nice. This cover actually folds over perfectly well. And it's really windy at the moment. And I've just been doing a bit of work to it this morning in here. <laughs> so it's like my own little tent. So now I'm covered away and it's uh, 
a lot less windy. So I've got my little tools down there and stuff. This is the original toolkit that came in the bike and it's all Honda tools and stuff, which is quite nice. Put some new grips on, polished up the uh, little console part here, whatever that's called, the buttons and all the rest of it. Uh, what else have I done? Ordered a new headlight, but that came down and it didn't fit. This panel here is just a, it was a six pound replacement. It was cracked here. So I uh, drilled a hole to stop the crack from getting bigger. It's just a temporary thing until I find the nicer one that's come off of a, a bike that's had other problems. Um, and then I dremeled out behind the crack to create a bit of a gully and then filled that out with super glue and bicarbonate of soda to create a new sort of material to strengthen it. So this is really solid now, but it doesn't look fantastic. But yeah, that's, uh, I put new wing mirrors on as well. They bend down a bit if we hit it with the cover, but a lot of people have been asking me to show them the bike, put a new stand on, uh, because I have been uploading loads of photos, but I haven't been showing it in my videos, obviously. So hopefully this will uh, satisfy. It's a really nice bike. It's from 1989, the same year as the first Game Boy. So it means quite a lot to me. But yeah, it's a really cool bike. I'm really happy with it. It drives beautifully. There'll be some videos for sure of me riding around on it because obviously Jersey's a beautiful place and it's a cool bike. And uh, we'll get loads of videos of me riding on it. So yeah, that's it. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below and I'll catch you later. Bye.